This is He Knows Everything, bringing you that heat and that fire. All right, let's talk about it. Here's my two cents with Team USA. And I know I'm going to get flack for it. I know a lot of people are going to be mad at me or they're going to say, well, he knows everything. You you know, you're just being a hater. You, you really don't give a shit about USA. What's up with USA Pride? Here's the thing. I don't have trust in a LeBron James led team. Anything that is associated with LeBron James leading it, I don't trust it. So since I don't trust it, I think you shouldn't trust it either. LeBron, by definition, is not a closer. You cannot trust closers. You have to trust people that are real closers that have a 95% Mariano Rivera closure rate. I feel like LeBron James doing the propaganda to position himself to be the best player on the team was a cockamamie nonsense to shut out Anthony Edwards and his steam, you know? It's like an iron, you know, when the iron gets water in it and it presses the clothes, what ends up happening when the creases of the clothes come together, you get that extra steam, right? The steam represents the crease and the steam in the crease of Anthony Edwards was as simple as Anthony Edwards developing himself, Anthony Edwards getting to the next level. This was supposed to be part of the maturation process getting out the way and letting the rising star in IE Anthony Edwards shine. And I feel like LeBron James dimmed that because this was his supposed Lakakamami last Team USA run. Look at how close the exhibition games were. So isn't it the things that make you say, hmm? Isn't it the things that make you say, hmm, that this guy is telling you straight up and he's telling you, systematically and he's telling you from a standpoint of what is it that he's nervous he has nerves he has basically something that tells you that he's afraid of the moment is this the first time that we've seen this from this guy it hasn't been the first time so why are we sitting here acting like we're surprised when we know all of the nuance that's associated with him tells us that we should run the other way? You see, I don't trust Jason Tatum either. He's a fake Mamba mentality. I mean, if Jalen Brown was on the team, yeah, I would trust it because Jalen Brown was the finals MVP. Let's just keep it a buck. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it a thousand and let's call a spade a spade here. Jason Tatum sounds like Kobe Bryant. He walks like Kobe Bryant. He talks like Kobe Bryant. He even chews like Kobe Bryant. He even has Kobe Bryant's number. But is he really the masqueration of KB24, KB8? Are we really looking at the Black Mamba himself? Come on, man. Stop the presses and pump the brakes on the nonsense. And go sit down somewhere and what? You know we got a higgity hush. Or do you want me to spend it and say we higgity hush? Because the guy sounds good. But is he what he is? I mean, we see a lack of a fullness there. We see that there is a fullness of lacking thereof there. We don't really see a guy that is everything that you say that he is. Transform us more than meets the eyes. He is not that. He is transformer less. The stifening of Anthony Edwards, the stifening of Joel Embiid, the pushing of aging superstars. I have to agree with Joel Embiid here when he talked about Team USA may potentially lose because of the aging superstars of Stephen Curry, the aging superstars of LeBron James, the aging superstars of, yes, even Kevin Durant. And I like Kevin Durant, the 50, 40, 90 walking gazelle. Anybody that knows me knows that's my favorite basketball player. But the here's the reality check with that because you know i once had a series called reality check so let's talk about the reality check that's associated behind that kevin durant is not a consistent closer at least these days so what you got in serbia you don't know if you're going to get it against south sudan let me say it again what you got against serbia you cannot say that you're going to get it against south sudan because you don't know if he's going to give you that against south sudan you see what i'm saying you see where i'm going with this 
So if you guys follow me on this ride, you guys follow me on this journey, you will understand that Team USA, can you really trust the team with Tyrese Halliburton? Can you really trust this team with Anthony Davis? They don't have the numbers for you to really fully trust them against the world. Now, if Kawhi Leonard didn't get injured and Kawhi Leonard was there as a backup, yes, there could be some trust associated behind that. You substitute J Jason uh, Tatum for Jalen Brown, yes. Now we're talking. You have a Draymond Green, an enforcer out there, yes. Now we're talking. Yes, even at his di at this stage, because he's an enforcer. So you need to have guys out there that can get the job done. Clay Thompson in replacement for Jason Tatum. Yes, you, you're getting the job done. But the guys that they have out now, the current stock, I'm not sold. And it's led by none other than LeBron James, a guy who never could tie Kobe Bryant's shoes, let alone stand in the same breath with Michael Jordan. Let me say it again. A guy who could not tie Kobe Bryant's shoes let alone stand in the same breath with Michael Jordan. But they tell you that he's on these guys' levels. But he's not. He won a bubble title in 2020 with the Los Angeles Lakers. But you're going to put him in the same rings with a guy like Kobe Bryant that won five rings in five real calendar NBA seasons? Come on, man. We have to be honest with ourselves. We have to be cold-hearted with ourselves. We have to be cutthroat with ourselves and we have to be unadulterated with ourselves and when we do that when we look through the lens what do we tell ourselves a lebron james led team is a team that is a disaster a lebron james led team is a team that has the potential to lose if he doesn't have all of the cards of the stacking of the teams in front of him i'm sorry he's gonna lose I know I'm not the only one that sees this. I know I'm not the only one that thinks this. I know I'm not the only one that is thinking this at this very moment. Of course, I'm gonna get a lot of flack for it. Of course, a lot of people are gonna be like, man, why, 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 why he knows everything? Always got something to say about LeBron James. I always have something to say because LeBron James always has an asterisk, or no, let's contextualize it, a little asterisk behind his NBA career. Man, am I gonna sit here and act like that's not the case? I don't know. Y'all tell me. Tell me in the comment section. What do you think? Do you think this Team USA can stack up with the redeemed teams of the world? Can stack up with the dream teams of the world? And can really put these international teams in their place? Do you really think that it was a foregone conclusion that Anthony Davis just came out of his own rabbit ass mouth and said, we are not the monsters. They don't even sound confident. LeBron James having nerve wreck. Anthony Davis telling you we're not going to get blowout games. Does this team sound even confident? Do they even act like they can flex their muscles of bravado? What happened to that? Because the Team USA, as we knew in the past, knew they were going to wipe the floor with the competition. So you guys have to be honest with yourselves. You guys have to look at the, all of the nuances that's associated behind it. And then you have to tell yourself, is this team really going to win gold? Do some self-reflection. Look in a mirror and ask yourself a cardinal question. Ask yourself the equalizer question. Ask yourself a real question. Does this Team USA look like they have the stock to get the job done? And if they don't, now you have to turn around and say he knows everything. This is not hate that you're talking about. You're actually bringing up something emphatic. You're actually bringing up something that's making us think. Something that's making us use our corpus callosum, our cerebellum, and our medulla obligata. And once you come to the full realization of critically thinking, reasonably thinking, and effectively thinking... Then you can come to the conclusive state. Then you can come to the finality and the totality that this Team USA does not measure up a candle with the past Team USA, especially with LeBron James at the helm. This is He Knows Everything. Check it out.